Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering history of DBMS. Guys, I have uploaded a complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide a link in description you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. DBMS stands for Database Management System. This DBMS is nothing but it is a software. By using this software, we can manage database like we can create database, we can insert data. We can delete data and we can modify data which is primary database. DBMS was first developed in early 1960s in order to manage huge amount of data for scientific and military applications. Whatever the database management system software developed in early 1960s, the software is used only to store data and retrieve data. But we cannot perform any modifications on data. Just we use the software in order to store and retrieve data. And the software was designed for mainframe computers. Guys, mainframe computers are nothing but old computers which was developed in the year 1944. The early database management system software was integrated data store, which was developed in the year early 1960s. We call this early database management system software as integrated data store. This integrated data store software will support data definition language and data manipulation language. And next in 1970s. In 1970s, relational model was developed by Edgar F. Codd. He is the person who developed relational model. Relational model is nothing but data which is stored in the form of tables that is in the form of rows and columns is known as relational model. In relational model we can use normalization. Normalization will improve data integrity and eliminates data redundancy. The first relational database management system software was developed by IBM in mid 1970s. Some of the popular relational database management system softwares are Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, PostgreSQL. All these are examples of relational database management system softwares. And next in 1980s, actually there are some disadvantages in relational database management system. So in order to overcome these disadvantages, object oriented database management system was introduced. The name itself says object oriented DBMS. In object oriented DBMS, we will store data in the form of objects, which contains both data and as well as procedures that operates on the data. In object oriented DBMS, we can store pictures, audios, videos and other type of data where it is impossible to store in relational DBMS. Just remember these points. In object oriented DBMS, we will store data in the form of objects, not only text information, but also we can store audio, video and pictures and so on in object oriented DBMS. But still, this object oriented DBMS is not recommended. In 1990s, web based DBMS was introduced, which allows the users to access data through the web browser. Directly by using web browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox, we can access databases and also we can perform various operations on databases in internet itself. Even though if users are in different locations and users are using different systems, users can easily access database through internet. And next in early 2000s, NoSQL database was introduced. This NoSQL database uses non-relational data models. In NoSQL database, we will not store data in the form of tables. In NoSQL database, we will store data in the form of classes and objects. For example, I want to store two records in relational database. One student name is Raju and age 25. So I can store that information like Raju and 25. Next time, I don't want to store age. I want to store rule number of another person. That person name is Ramesh. So again, name column is already present. So I can write here Ramesh. Again, I need to create rule number column in order to store rule number of Ramesh. So I'm storing rule number that is 55. For example, there is third student. Third student name is Shiva. This time I want to store name Shiva and section A. So name is already present. So directly I can insert Shiva and the section column is not present. So again I need to create section column and I need to write section A. So for a single record I need to create separate column. This is waste of time. So in order to overcome this problem we can use NoSQL database. JSON is example of NoSQL database where JSON stands for JavaScript object notation. In NoSQL database we will not store data in the form of tables. Instead we will store data in the form of class and objects. This is example of JSON. Here I took name Sai and rule number 20. And again I took brackets. Inside brackets I written name Ravi section A. Guys among all these databases, relational database is best. 